I'll have one onto the pile of Suzuki Bakuhatsu. This time we're doing two more bombs, which, well, I'm pretty sure we're near in the end now, but I don't really know what bombs we're going to be experiencing now, so let's deal with them right now. Let's see what we have to deal with. I bet you it's going to be a pain in the ass at last part. So, we have a few times here. You see, there's one we already did. Uh, over to our right, we have 13, 18. I think we did that already. And over here, we have 1943. We haven't done that yet. So, let's go ahead and do it. Yes, our bomb is a fucking engine that appeared out of nowhere on a stage with people. We gotta save this shit before we and they die. So tape this, tape that, and then we can just go ahead and get this wrench bolts unscrewed right now. Okay. This is no forced timer on us. It's not much time on this one though. Six eighteen. We're really getting strict now. Let's go inside, and then inside here we got some gears and a screw. Let's time this right, and we should be able to. Got it. Right. Screw. Just give you enough time in case you do fuck up the first time or the second time, and you know, just correct yourself at least. At least you're on hot and not complete, dickheads. Alright, now that's unscrewed, let's go inside and see what's next. This is a confusing puzzle. Okay, so I just push this here, uh, screw that in, uh, pull it back out, screw this in, and then just go all out. There you go, open. Alright, moving on. Okay, there's a bolt here, let's unscrew this, that thing is moving considerably fast. Okay, now it's slow, thank fuck. Let's just unscrew a bit. Uh, it's too fast. Okay, just go back a bit. Keep going back. It's all good. Okay, okay, uh, there we go. Okay, unscrew now. Alright. Alright, okay. Let's go forward. That's a lot of wrench bolts. Okay, get the wrench out and then just... Oh god damn it. Okay, it's okay. We got time, we got time. Just got to unscrew this shit. Holy shit, this is taking a long time. Uh, it's only like five fucking seconds just to get rid of one of these. Okay, next. Oh my god. We can do this, we can do this. We got enough time, hopefully. Hopefully, we have enough time. Oh god, ten seconds. We can do this though, we're close. We're getting close. One left. Come on. Three, two. Okay. 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 Alright. Let's go left and screw these. Oh, come on now. <laughs> okay, unscrew these. And. Two, two step. It has to be on the other side. There has to be some bullshit on the other side. Yep. Alright, unscrew these and we're probably fine by then. Hey, at least uh, things are going alright for us. I mean, this is complete bullshit so far. These puzzles have been pretty simple. And uh, it hasn't gone too dickish of us, so... Who knows? Might not be that bad. I'll be easier than the last fucking bomb where we had a lot of this shit. Anyway, inside of here... Two screws, unscrew them. It's taking quite a bit. Slide. What? Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, just fuck you. Let's get out of here. Okay, so the real pre. Yeah, here we go. The real place over here. 
zoom in on this, and go keep complete. Okay, uh, this screw here, just put on full force. Fuck it. Okay, go over here. Uh, go to the left room over there. Alright. Uh, screw that thing over there, and then, uh, cut the bottom wire. Fuck it, go for it. Okay. Okay. Now. We gotta screw this. Good as here. And that will lead us to the wires. Good. It's in a casing. We'll get rid of the casing right now by unscrewing it. We unscrew oh, everything God. this way. And uh, then we go over here. And uh, the wire we cut is red, I believe. What the hell? So yeah, that that was a bit of a bitch, wasn't it? In fact, it was kind of like the last part where uh, you know you have a long bomb and it's kind of a bitch. Uh, it's gonna be a repeat of the last part. Anyway, let's go into easy and check out this entire bomb. We have 12 minutes, but we need more time for that because it's gonna be a long one. So there's a lot to explore. We can view up here. There's no point to it though. There's nothing to really explore over here. We can also look around the engine, there's not much to look at over this way, except, you know, more graphical stuff. Because that's neat. You know, it's all PS1 graphics. And then we got this shit over here, the detonator, a hint pad, and that electricity Mario. thing. Hint pad doesn't really tell us much. Feel it? In fact, we get more information to look at this fucking thing. And detonator... Yep, yeah, it's a detonator. And there's a lot of wires around here. Blue and red. Feel it? Not much to say about them. I think they say the same thing, actually. Mm? Uh, we got these bolts. For a wrench. And uh, we got some broken wires. We got one on the left. Which tells us this. It's kind of weird how they're both different colors. And then bottom here is not only a broken wire, but there's also a hint pad. So that's what it says, and there's a hint pad which tells me this. How useful. Alright. It's just going to tape this one over here. Because I think this might be the safe one. Also, once you tape it, it starts it. So when you do anything, it just starts it. Except for examining. Examining does not do much. Okay. Let's go ahead and unscrew this now, because I think that's the right one. I don't think we have to worry about the bottom one. I think the bottom one should stay for fucking duds or something. So I just have to unscrew these and... God fucking damn it. So yeah. The left wire is not important. We can miss it entirely. The bottom one we have to do in order to stop that thing from detonating, you know, fucking us over immediately at the start. So we'll be missing that the entire time, alright? We'll be seeing the hint, you know, the stats thing later on, and, you know, like every other time we have to deal with dead ends, except this time I'm doing a fucking wire. That's what it says when you tape that up. Alright, unscrew this, let's go inside. By the way, this bitch here, the gears, they require some pretty bastardized timing. You'll be seeing it pretty soon, but right now, here's some screws, can't really see them much. They're also the same thing, hint pad, can't see that. Gears are too much in the way for us to actually read any of this. We should all say the same thing. So, over to our right, we can fuck with these by turning them on and off. And we have to turn them off at the right time. To do this, you kind of have to make sure you turn it off when it gets near it. Because when you do, the delay on it, as well as the fact you stop at that point, will make it so it starts right there. So, you examine all of these and say different stuff. Hint pads being blocked. But, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. So, I'm just going to unscrew about three of these. I'm not going to unscrew all of these, just only three. Because I want to see that hint pad. So I want to get these gears out of the way. 
So, these three unscrewed, just gonna leave that one alone. And I'm gonna look around over here and turn this back on. And then I'm gonna stop it at the right time for the hint that I can barely see. And I fucked up, this might take me a bit. I think I'm about to jump cut, there we go. Okay, hint pad, let's see what it says. Let's see if it's worth it. Yeah. Well, it's information, but I don't know if it is worth it, so you know. Stupid question, I know. It's fucking worth it when I can't understand Japanese. Let's just finish this off already. Okay. That's puzzle number two, I guess? I don't think you can send number one back there. Number one puzzle, Not whatever. Anyway, you know, there's nothing else in this thing anymore. This is now pointless to deal with because we already unscrewed the puzzle. So, let's go inside and deal with the next one, which is this contraption of madness. We have a few things to deal with here, as well as a lot of viewpoints here. We can view over here, we can view up here, we can view to our left and right. I mean, we can view the detonator too, so you know, there's a lot to view. Except you can't examine any of these things, except for the, bit, the ball and that thing over there, so... You know, not much to really to deal with okay. here. We can examine the detonator on this viewpoint here. We can examine, uh... That. The screw. Which has a lot, apparently, even though it doesn't really do much. Uh, we can Fuck. examine that ball over there. We can examine this uh, other Nada. screw. We can examine the, um, the streamer Nada. thing. It says open. Yes, it does. You have to open it. Nada. And we can examine this hint here, this hint pad, in which it tells me all of this that I won't be able to understand until someone translates this for me, which so far. I have not seen anyone translate anything lately, so that's pretty sad. Anyway, we saw this last time where I screwed this thing and it made both of these moves. And uh, basically, one's gonna hit that detonator, the other one is gonna open up the door. Mm -hmm. I wanna open up the door. There's the examination of that screw. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and screw this. And then I'm just going to pump this one all the way forward. Because I think that's the right thing to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way and... Yeah, I can't. I can't just do that by accident or anything like that. In order to actually fail this puzzle, you have to do it deliberately by uh, screwing this, unscrewing this, taking pretty much all energy from this, from that little thing there, and then going all out with the fucking thing. So yeah, you have to deliberately lose this one, and uh, yeah, let's do it. If anyone tells me they've lost in this puzzle, by accident? Fuck you, you're lying. There's no way you can lose this one. Like, this is so fucking simple. They, the only way you can lose this is if you deliberately lose it. So, yeah. This puzzle was easy and we're done. We can move on now. We can move on simply by just moving on. Moving over to our left and then moving forward. Mm -hmm. And by the way, hints blocked so we can't read it. Right. Let's go ahead and go inside. Now, of course, we have this time puzzle here, but let's take our time to examine things. So we got the detonator here. Now that's pretty nice. Uh, we got these Not bolts you. here. A lot of them are blocked, but they all say pretty much the same thing. And uh, we got this one over here, which isn't blocked, and it just says that they all say that when unblocked. Oh, we got this thing over here, which moves them and changes the speed here. Mm -hmm. Got this hint pad here. It says a lot of details. We have to examine all this detail. We can't just like skip through this. We have to know what we're doing. So now we've seen all we need to see. Let's uh, do this thing right now. Yep. 
I deliberately made that a thing because there's no other way you can lose this other than speeding it up and you know deliberately losing or going backwards and having to detonate the other way around which is possible so yeah that is the uh, bomb for that one I'm gonna just unscrew this right now because there's nothing else to examine there except there's one thing I can examine the viewpoints if I go left I can view here if I go up I can view that and if I go right we can go inside no other viewpoints, no other need to examine, and I can go back, but what's the fucking point of doing that? So, let's go inside to our next puzzle and continue on. In which this puzzle is just fucking a lot of bolts that needs a wrench, eight of them. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot to examine here, but as soon as it starts, as soon as we touch this, yeah, we get forced even on easy. The time you're about to see when we do do this is fucking stupid, really. Anyway, there's a lot to examine, there's a lot to see, there's a lot to read. If you can understand this, I can't. By the way, a lot of ellipses right here. A lot of ellipses. So, let's deal with this. Yep. They just added two seconds onto this, about two or three seconds onto this. The rest is there at the same time, so you're still being rushed to do this one thing. To unscrew all of these, you're still being rushed. It's just that they give you a small amount of time, just to give you a bit of a nudge forward. Yeah, it's nice of them, but uh, you're still being dicks. Then again, this is a game where back in that light bulb puzzle, on the fucking dead end path to open up the dead end path. I was forced five fucking seconds on easy, but nothing on hard, so you know. So now this whole cover is gone. We get two more wrenches, two more wrench bolts, but uh, we can examine the rest of this place. There's no point to it though. So, there you go. So, they both say bolt. At least I think they do. And, uh, yeah, just unscrew them. No force timer here. Thank fuck. Simple as that. You can just unscrew these, and there you go. Now, there's a hint pad here. It says this. Pretty small text, something that big. But, uh, yeah, more viewpoints. It's not that different, though. We have four bolts here, and uh, that's about it. Again, there's nothing else to really explore here except for that hip pad, so... Go to the bolts, examine them, they all say the same thing. And then unscrew. Simple. Again, no force timer, just start unscrewing and there you go. So yeah. Like the fucking light bulb one, this is a long one, and yeah, I kinda need to get myself killed in order to get more time for this, so. Sorry if it seems like I'm wasting your time and shit, but I have to examine these. Anyway, there are two paths to go, but uh, let's examine the rest of the engine now. It's like a fucking Gatling gun now. Uh, nothing else to really explore except there's two holes here, so let's go into the dead end one. So the dead end one, there were two screws here. One is very long, the other isn't. Really dick move there, but not a huge dick move like some of the other stuff we've seen so far. It's just like a trick really, and it's just a stupid trick that's just worthless in the end. It doesn't force any time on you, it's just like, meh. Once unscrewed though, we get into this area here with uh, these gears. We can move with this uh, screw here. And uh, the fucking gears just tell us dead end, go back. So, uh, yeah. F you game, dick move. But it's a dead end, so what do you expect? Anyway, let's go into the real path because, by the way, we are missing this dead end now. We're not coming back here again in any other run, so. Again, stats. So, over here, there's quite a few things to explore, including that little bullet on the side. But first, these little electric things right here, they're attached to this thing that I don't even understand. 
And uh, then we got the screw here. We can't unscrew because it's being moved and uh, it's just impossible to unscrew. We got this butt here which moves by itself. And uh, then we got the detonator and the hint pad. Yeah. How nice. Now I'm pretty sure the game does tell you what to do here. But for me, I couldn't figure it out. I had to fucking shit guess. And that didn't work, so then I had to look at Spike Stuff's Taz. Thank you very much, Spike Stuff. But uh, yeah, this area right here, there's a lot to do here. We can slow this down, we can speed this up. I'm just gonna slow down for now to give me more time. Uh, we can examine more stuff here. We can examine this bolt here, this little, little screw here, which uh, moves the thing. We can examine the hint pad, it's just flown in midair, apparently. Uh, we can examine that fan there that's now slowly what moving. We can examine the detonator. And uh, I feel like I'm going to examine that uh, thing that's being pushed what right now by the uh, magnet electricity <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. It says a lot. <laughs> Nothing else to really examine though, so I guess we can move on now. But uh, yeah, that was one room. You can see we're getting close, but it looks like it's stuck, it's stopped though, so, whatever. Anyway, inside of this room, there's a whole bunch of shit here. Can't there's some wires, she's confused about them. There's this thing here, I'm guessing to keep that ball there. There's a detonator, of course, there's a lot of detonators in this one. Another wire, same thing. There's this thing that moves to uh, this little gear thing here. There's another bunch of questions for us about this little moving gear thing here. Nah. And uh, there's this thing right here. Again, there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. But here's a hint pad to explain everything that I won't be able to understand anyway. So. <laughs> Great hint. Fuck, we're not. We don't have much time left. Uh, okay, so. Let's go ahead back out because we've explained everything. We've seen everything. Well, that's getting close. Okay, let's go inside the right room. But we can't go back. We're stuck here. Let's go to the right room and just for the fuck of it, let's fail it. By the way, here's a bunch of viewpoints we can check out. See? No point to it though. So yeah, right room. Inside we go. Let's just stop it. Let's just screw it all the way to the left and just completely stop it because I think it might not fuck. Oh. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Here's what happened. That was a glitch. Here's what happened. As soon as I stopped it and detonated the first detonator, on the main room, the center room, that bullet hit the detonator at the same time. So, both of them went off, and the camera tried to go to the detonator one with the bullet, but it couldn't load everything, so it just like, it looks like that, and it's just like, what the fuck? It delayed the game over for no fucking reason. And I'm I'm just laughing right here because it glitched. I finally got a glitch in this fucking game that I'm possible is supposed to be impossible to really glitch. So good job. Anyway, let's just go over here. So over here I can just fuck with this, I can do this, you know, I can interact this stuff, make it move. Says this. And, uh, yeah, not much else to say about this room now, except, uh, we have to pretty much stop it. And how do we do that? By cutting the wire. But if we cut it while it's moving like this, what do you think will happen? Eh, fuck it, do it. You have to make sure it's going all the way fast before you cut. Because otherwise, it won't be good enough and you will die because electricity and the ball and stuff. 
great. So, dick move there. But, yeah, it's not that hard a puzzle when you figure out you have to be fast and then cut the fucking wire. And We have it on fast now, so let's just put it over there. Yep, okay, now we have to cut the wire. Actually, let's cut the top wire, why not? I bet you're getting sick of that explosion, aren't you? But yeah, top wire is bad. Never cut it. But bottom wire, you should cut that shit. You should definitely cut that shit. Alright, let's actually be done with this. There you go. By the way, if you wanted to, you can tape this back up and start it again. But why the fuck would you want to? So yeah, simple stuff really, and by the way, there's the bullet. Now, let's just go ahead and unscrew this, we can have a look at it now. She's saying Eureka or something. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and unscrew this because uh, we're done with this area now. There's nothing else to explore here. Uh, every other way you can fail is pretty much, you know, that bullet. We already saw in the glitch though, so it counts. Anyway, this area right here has uh, some viewpoints here, but we can't examine the wires, nor can we do anything because of this casing. So let's examine it. It nah. says this. There you go. Let's get rid of the casing now by simply unscrewing this giant fucking screw. Just came nah. a small one. Now, there's a hint pad here. Last one. Mateo. Tells me this. A question. I'm guessing which wire is it? Now, I would cut the blue wire, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cut the red wire, because I think it's the red wire, because I've been, it's the same ones before, even though Doubt has told me wrong. But Doubt says I am fucking right, so there you go. By the way, 92%. That fucking dead end and that wire at the start is 8%. So let's let you know right there. But yeah, that was C. Because I, was, I wasted so much time. That was a C. But yeah, that's the bomb. That's the engine bomb. And we're done with that shit, so let's move on. Super. さん、ウィンギスカップ。皆さん、皆様にメッセージを送りたいと思います。人は歩みを止めた時に、そして挑戦を諦めた時に年老いていくのだと思います。この道を行けばどうなるものか。歩みの中で Thank you, dude. Whatever you just said, I don't fucking know. But anyway, moving on. The next bombs are... Well, we're actually nearing the end now. We've got 1754 right here. And over here, we have the doorknob. We're not doing the doorknob. We're not doing the lock, alright? We're not doing the door lock. We are instead doing the other time, because we haven't done that yet. So, what is this?
Oh shit, there's a bomb in the fucking heating table. That's not gonna be good. Two minutes though. Oh fuck. Okay, we can. Wait, what? What? Why? Why space? Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking what, mate? Oh god, this is a fucking lesson. This is a fucking lesson in the goddamn bomb deactivating it. Why? I don't want to learn. I want to fucking blow myself up. <laughs> I just have to keep pressing up the entire time. For fuck's sake. And I bet you it's telling me, yeah, it's gonna tell me about the fucking wires. It's telling me to guess. Pricks. Ah, uh, fuck it. Go for red. No, blue. Go for blue. What the hell? So that was fucking boring. And I'm not gonna talk about this one anymore. I mean, what do you expect? It's a fucking lesson. And it's all text. So, fuck it. Not gonna say anything. Enjoy your text, enjoy your lesson. I'm gonna be silent throughout this entire bomb. Fuck it. It's, it's gonna bomb me to sleep.
There you go. Fucking hell. Heating table, worst bomb. Worst fucking bomb. The end. So we're moving on now. Because, yeah, that was boring and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you can't understand any of it. I'm sure it was worthless to you. But fuck it, moving on. So God! The emulator, that was, like, the audio repeating, that was an emulator glitch, sorry about that. But yeah, after this would be the door lock, and then the final bomb, which we already did the door lock, and I'm not doing that final bomb until I'm actually done with all these other bombs, so we should be done now, but there was some different times at times, and I had to check. There's actually two more bombs left before our final bomb. So we've done some good stuff, we've done some good progress, but there's actually two paths that are actually free. So I have to go to those paths now and deal with them before we deal with our final bomb. So next time on Suzuki Park Hatsu, we complete the final two bombs before our actual final bomb. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in which we be done with this game hopefully at some point. See ya!